that time, everybody came out of, that came out of college uh, would sign a contract with the shoe company in college at Will Converse. Um, my favorite shoes at that time were Adidas. I, I've never worn Nikes up to that point. Nike, as a very small, you know, company battling the the Goliaths in basketball, which were Adidas and Converse. Uh, they had a much greater need for for Michael. But I told him, if you want to sign Michael Jordan, you know, as a small upstart company like Nike, this is what it's going to take. That was the date that Michael Jordan signed what is most people consider the most successful endorsement contract in the history of professional sports. I thought it would be fun to create your own basketball shoe. Uh, that was probably the most exciting thing about the whole process. It didn't even dawn on me about uh, someone buying shoes with my name. Let's we'll start with the ones. You know when you get with these, the Air Jordan ones. May May got fine. This way it all started. From nines, from tens, you know what Scotty said. Elevens, twelves, thirteens. And last but not least, you went on top with the Air Jordan 23s. Man, everybody wished they had a pair, but no, man. They wished they were you. The NBA back then, most people thought the league was too black to be commercially viable. The expectation when we signed the contract was that sometime between the third and fourth year, sometime between 1988 and 1989, that Nike would sell $3 million of Air Jordan. At the end of the first year, they sold $130 million. I can remember just being a little and saying, I want to be like Mike. You know, got the tongue out, shooting fadeaways, dunking, the shorts, you know. Once you saw that logo, it was like, oh, man, this is tight. You know, when I grow up, when I start playing basketball, I'm going to have my own shoe. I want to have my own logo, my own brand. Uh, initially, I was a basketball player, you know, and that's where, you know, my uh, focus was. Uh, the business aspect evolved based on what I was doing on the floor. And uh, I was able to, you know, with, my, with David Falk and, and ProServe at the time, take my persona off the basketball court and take it into the business world. I think Michael opened up the opportunity for every young LeBron and every young Kobe Bryant, every young Dwight Howard to come out of school and think that it's automatic, like you're gonna go with Nike or Adidas, you're gonna go with Coke or Pepsi. But back then it was it was unprecedented. And Michael's success hit on the court and off the court has paved the way for a whole generations of young athletes to share in opportunities that were unheard of to Dr. J and Magic Johnson you know, just 25, 30 years ago. You know, his brand was bigger than just basketball. He motivated people to just live better and be better. And that's the same thing that I try to do with, with my brand and my life. I imagine I inspired a lot of people and I've gotten uh, some, some great responses from, you know, today's athletes, yesterday's athletes, and even some tomorrow. So, I mean, to me, that's gratifying that I can affect someone's perspective about life, and not just on the basketball court, but in business as well.